I've got this one strain of hair that is like flat halfway down. Sometimes that happens. It's either from not getting any gel or sometimes your hair is just hard to tame. <laughs> People have been asking me about the curly girl method and so today is wash day so I thought I'd give you like a rundown on how to start the curly girl method because it can get really overwhelming so I'm doing this in my kitchen since my kids are running around me I need to watch them <laughs> so the curly girl method is all about being natural and getting your curls back and in order to do that, you gotta take out all of the sulfates and the silicones in your hair products. So to start the curly girl method, you're gonna do a final wash, and this is to get out the silicones in your hair. So there's a few products that I'll put up here in the corner um, that you can use that has sulfate in it, and it's only to get out all the silicone and the buildup in your hair. So that's how you start, and then, once you do that, you're not going to use that sulfate shampoo anymore. When I looked online, it is so overwhelming. The products and just there's so many like routines and oh. So I kind of, I tried to stay really simple. So I'm going to show you uh, the routine that I've been doing. I always start, um, I do, I wash my hair twice a week. And the first time I do it, I always use what's called a low poo uh, shampoo. So this has no sul sulfates or silicones in it. Um, and then I use a conditioner to go with it. So that's the first time I wash my hair. Um, and then the second time I wash my hair in the week, it's uh, with the co-wash and it's just a conditioner wash, uh, which is just lighter on your hair. It doesn't take so much out of it, like all the oils and stuff. I move on to a leave-in conditioner, and this has been life-changing for me. I've never used a leave-in conditioner in my hair before. This helps my hair tremendously with uh, frizz and like flyaways and stuff. And so you just pick one leave-in conditioner, and you're gonna just put this um, pretty generously in your hair. Um, I use a curl activator. I've been using this Camille Rose curl maker and I just bought this yesterday at Target. I heard really good things about it. This curls blueberry bliss. So I'm gonna actually try that today and see how that works. So I'm, I put that all in my hair while it's wet. This is all while it's wet. Then next I use a gel. So you just pick one gel or styling cream or mousse. Uh, but I have been using this Archangel gel, and this has been so good. I love this. It's kind of pricey, but it's worth it to me. <laughs> um, and then this is also, the this is a really cheap uh, Echo Professional Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil gel. So that's also an option you can use. Um, and then uh, once the gel sits in my hair, then I use a argon oil to uh, scrunch out the crunch. So this is my hair after about four days. Um, so see how the curls are like almost gone? It's because the last few days I just threw it back in a ponytail because sometimes it's hard to like drag out um, the wash days. <laughs> and this week it was extra hard because I tried a new product, black castor oil in my hair to get out the frizz and it was just too oily for me. Um, so it's just like a hot mess back there. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this uh, shampoo. I'm going to 
telling you the Diva One Condition Delight Conditioner. Okay, so while it's still soaking wet, this is one you want to scrunch in the leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to use the um, Not Your Mother's Natural. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do quite a few pumps of this thing. Next, uh, I'm gonna get this microfiber towel. So then I'm just gonna leave this in my hair for about 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and now I'm going to put in the Blueberry Bliss Control Gel. And then after I'm gonna put this Diva Curl Archangel into my hair. Any of these steps are completely optional. Do some and see if it works for you and then, you know, take one step out or add another step. Some people do this with a t-shirt. Some people don't plop at all and that's fine too. Whatever works for your hair. So I'm gonna start with like that amount. scared to use so much product but I realized the more I use it actually mostly helps sometimes I use too much <laughs> but yeah it helps the frizz and everything helps the curls stay okay so once this is all scrunched in then I am going to use my gel and now my gel I use a lot of because I want to get a hard cast on my curls because the harder the cast, then when I go out to scrunch out the cast, it like makes the curls so soft and, and less frizz. So, it's a lot of gel. <laughs> Just gonna kind of rub this all in. product in my hair now um, you can let it air dry um, or you can diffuse it on a medium heat and a low setting because um, my hair if I let it air dry it will take like all day long like 12 hours it just I have really low porosity hair and it takes forever for my hair to dry so what I do is um, because I don't like the feeling of all the wet hair like on my neck and everything so I will diffuse for a good hour, hour and a half, um, just to take away like the dripping wetness. And then I'll let it sit for a couple hours um, damp. And um, you don't want to touch your hair at all while it's drying, because you want that hard cast. So you want the hard gel cast so that way at the end, um, you can scrunch out all of that stuff, but you want to wait till it's all dry to scrunch it out. So for diffusing, I use a Diva Curl dryer, um, and it has this diffuser at the end. And I also try to kind of like plop it this way, like push it up on my hair when I'm drying and let it sit there for a few minutes and then do the next one. So I'm not, cause when I try to do too much with my hair while I'm blow drying, it just ends up like a frizzy mess. So I'm trying to do the less amount of touching and moving in this time. Cause I just want it to dry um, and get a hard cast.
I've been drying my hair for a good hour, hour and a couple minutes probably. Um, and so it's still a little bit damp, but I'm gonna try not to touch it and let it air dry for a while. I'm probably gonna end up doing some more diffusing on it just because I have to get out of the house here and get Jackson. Well, now that my hair is all dry, looks pretty crazy right now, I know. But this is the hard cast on my hair. So see how it's just like really hard? That's just the gel cast on my hair. So now I'm going to um, scrunch out the crunch. That's what they call it. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this argon oil and I'm just gonna put a few drops in my hand. And I'm just gonna rub it around my hand. I'm literally just, first I'm gonna spread out the oil a little bit. Then I'm just going to scrunch out all the crunchiness of my hair. So this is only my, I think, fourth or fifth week of doing, of doing this. A curly girl method so there's gonna be a transition period and also I had my hair um, Japanese hair straightened and so that did a lot of damage especially to the top of my hair um, so there's gonna be a transition period where you know you're not gonna have those tight curls and they're gonna be like weird pieces in there um, and so a lot of the times I just wear, at least until my hair, you know, figures out its curl pattern and everything, I'll just wear my hair half up and half down because the bottom of my hair seems to curl like really good. See under here? Um, and then the top is kind of, it's a hot mess honestly. <laughs> So this is how I ended up styling my hair today. I just took a bobby pin over here and pinned it back like this. Um, and sometimes when this mess is a little too crazy, I'll take like a bobby pin over here and even like pin that back up. Um, so, so thanks for watching my curly girl video. If you have any questions or comments, there's a Facebook group that I'm a part of that is amazing for advice and uh, for new people just getting into it. And so I'll link that down below. And if you have any questions or if you want me to do some more vlogs or anything about, you know, the curly girl, I'll probably do an update video. Um, just let me know. Thank you, thanks for watching.